Article 17. To see if the town will vote to amend Section 3, Use Regulations of the Town of Hadley Zoning Bylaws, to entirely delete Note 6 whenever it appears in this section or take any action thereto. The Planning Board must give a report as of Mass General Law 40A, Section 5. The motion reads, move that the town amend Section 3, Use Regulations of the Hadley Zoning Bylaws by entirely deleting Note 6 wherever it appears in this section. Do I have a motion? Second. Second. Moved and seconded. Jim Maximowski, Planning Board. This will be a two-thirds majority. The Planning Board unanimously, unanimously recommends this. And what the heck's Note 6? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of history on this. Note 6 was tied into the uh, petition article of a number of years ago that limited the business development or retail development in town to 75,000 square feet. Tied in with that motion or that petition was this note six that says, in all zoning districts, a group of adjacent stores, shops, and similar retail commercial establishments with a combined total footprint of all buildings in the group exceeding 60,000 square feet is prohibited. And question is, we've wrestled with this, we've, it was kind of overlooked, I mean, we haven't had this issue come up, but we say you can't put more than 75,000 square foot of a big building in, and yet you can't put more than 60,000 square feet of multiple build of a small group in. And exactly what this means, it was a, it's a petition article. Um, it's never come up, we don't think, but we're not exactly clear on it. The easiest way is to simply get rid of this little note and say anything over 75,000 square feet, you can't build. Thank you. Any questions? So, Jim. Wouldn't it make more sense, rather than eliminating it, to just change, amend that note six so that it says 75,000 total instead of um, 60,000? I mean, it certainly doesn't make sense to have one big box be able to build more than a complex. But I'm, I, I think there are some good reasons to limit sizes, and I just wonder if, you know, would this make it possible for somebody to come in with 200,000 square foot strip mall? No. Right now, we're not eliminating the 75,000 square feet. That's staying in there. And if you look in Article 18 on the second page, page, what page number? In the business and industrial section, any business use over 75,000 square feet is not prohibited, is not allowed. Over on the right hand columns near the bottom of the page. And that's, we'll get to Article 18, but you can't put a building up over 75,000 square feet, period. So. But, but you could, I mean, the, what I'm asking is if, you know, if you put 10 buildings of 8,000 square feet a piece together as one project, how does that shape up if we take away Node 6? That's 80,000 square feet and it's not allowed on a single parcel. Okay. Any other questions? Hearing none, all in favor, signify with your green card. All opposed, it passes unanimously. Article 18 is a zoning bylaw. Um, to see if the town will vote to amend sections 4.1 and 4.2 of the Hadley Zoning Bylaws and replace it with the following. I'll allow you a few minutes to read the words and go through the chart. While you're doing that, I'd like to take this time to thank the Mothers Club once again for having refreshments at the fall town meeting. The motion for this article reads, 
Move that the town amend the zoning bylaws of the Code of Town of Hadley relating to dimensional and density regulations as delineated in Article 18 of the Special Town Meeting Warrant for October 22nd, 2015 and incorporated by reference herein. Do I have a motion? Second? Second. Jim Maximowski, Chairman. The Planning Board recommends this article unanimously. Little explanation here, call this one a housekeeping. When the zoning bylaw was adopted in 1961 or 62, there were two tables, 4.1 and 4.2, and they were rather basic. Um, one, we believe, because we really have no real good explanation here, one was for kind of a commercial uh, table, one was more for a residential and a floodplain table. Over the years, because we've added so many districts and amended so many things, Table 4.1 have morphed into something that the planning board had a hard time telling the difference of which one was, what was different about these two, and sometimes they're a bit confusing. So, working with the Priority Valley Planning Commission, who we use as a consultant to the, to the planning board, um, they helped us combine 4.1 and 4.2 into a single table and make it simply more clear. There should be no difference in combining those two into this table than what we have in the zoning bylaws. Just a simple, it, I would call it a simplification because this is a complicated table, don't get it wrong. However, there is no change in any dimension, side yards, setbacks, height, otherwise, um, for what we have in the zoning bylaw today, simply putting them in one table. Put your trust in the planning board. Don't do that. If by some chance somebody finds a difference, we want to know about it. Bill Dwyer. Rest of the motion. Again, in the housekeeping, uh, as the bylaw developed over time, um, things that didn't fit in the table were added as numbered sections below the table. Uh, or things were cross-referenced in other uh, sections. So the uh, paragraphs on the last page are part of the tidy up project to merge everything into one table. Thank you. Any questions or concerns with Article 18? Hearing none, all in favor, signify with your green card. All those opposed, it passes unanimously. That, that is the last article of the night, so at this time I will entertain a motion. Motion in a second. Oh, there was, sorry, so that was uh, 120 to 1. Thank you for matter, for matter of clarification. I have a motion and a second to dissolve the meeting. The meeting is hereby closed. Thank you for coming.